If your copter does what the copter I just showed you did, then you have Insta Flip on Throttle Up. It flips over the minute you throttle up past a certain point. Uh, this is a very common problem. Many people are afflicted with it. There's nothing to be ashamed of. And the good news is that there are very few causes, and it's always one of these four causes. Actually, it's really only one of these three causes. The fourth one is 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 uncommon because most people aren't using a custom motor mix. So the good news is that that this is a very easy problem to fix once you figure out which one of these three things the problem is. So let's talk about what the three things can be, how you can figure out which one it is, and how you can fix it, what you should do about it once you find out what it is. Insta flip on throttle up happens when the motors are not doing what the PID controller expects them to be doing. So the PID controller knows internally that in order to make the copter move a certain way, it needs to make some motors spin faster and some motors spin slower. When one of those motors is doing the opposite of what the PID controller expects, then the PID controller tries to, for example, slow down the front right motor. And, in, and, and the opposite thing happens so the PID controller tries to slow the motor down more, and the problem keeps happening and keeps happening, which results in this feedback loop where the more the PID controller tries to fix the problem, the worse the problem gets. And that happens in fractions of a second. One of the motors goes to full, and, and the copter flips over, as you saw in the video. Okay, so there, the, the, all of these three things result in a mismatch between what the copter's motors are actually outputting and what the flight controller thinks they should be outputting. The first one is that you've got the motors wired up wrong. In clean flight and beta flight, the motors go one, two, three, four, front, right, back, right, back, left, front, left. Okay, see, even I have trouble remembering sometimes, but I'm not even 100% sure that's right. I'm going to show you where you can find out definitively. So if you've got the motors wired up wrong, for example, if you're coming from open pilot, which uses a different motor order, or KISS uses a different motor order, if you're coming there and you've got the motors wired up and you're switching to this firmware, the motors are not going to be in the right order and you're going to get an insta flip. Or if you just accidentally plug the motors in or soldered them up in the wrong order. If a motor is spinning the wrong direction, you'll get an insta flip, clockwise versus counterclockwise. Interestingly, having the props on wrong will not cause an insta flip. And having the props on backwards or upside down will not cause an insta flip. Having the props on wrong, backwards, or upside down will cause the prop to not make thrust, but it will not cause the prop to make the opposite thrust of what the PID controller is expecting, if that makes sense. So your props are not going to be a cause of insta flip. They can cause other problems, but not insta flip. If your flight controller is not facing forward, for example, if you've got an old NAS 32 Rev 5, Still flies fine. Why would you throw it, throw it out, right? And if you've got it rotated 90 degrees so the USB connector is facing out of the side of the copter, but you haven't got the board align parameter, then you'll get an insta flip. And that's because essentially by rotating the board but not telling the flight controller that it's rotated, you've essentially managed to wire the motors up wrong. The front left motor is no longer the front left motor because the board has been rotated. Finally, if you're using a custom motor mix and you have the custom motor mix incorrect for the way the motors are laid out, you're going to get an insta flip. And this is kind of the same as number one or number two. By using a custom motor mix, you're telling the flight controller, this is how the motors are laid out and this is the way they're spinning. And if that doesn't match what's actually happening, you'll get an insta flip. So here's how to troubleshoot this. To determine if the motors are connected wrong, first, remove your props. Seriously, remove your props. Take your props off. Seriously. Then go to the Clean Flight or Beta Flight GUI Motors tab and spin the motors one at a time. And you've got this graphic here in the upper left of the tab that tells you the motors one, two, three, four, and shows which motors should spin when you spin one, two, three, and four. If they don't spin correctly, they're wired up wrong. That's why you're insta flipping. To find out if your motor is spinning the wrong direction, do the same thing and check the motor direction. Again, it's indicated in the tab clockwise, counterclockwise. You can see the direction of the arrow there on the graph. To find out if board align is correct, go to the Setup tab and move the copter, physically move your copter, hold it in your hand and move it, on the pitch and the roll axes. If the 3D model moves correctly, then your board align is correct. So you roll the copter left, the 3D model rolls left. Roll it right, rolls right. Pitch forward and pitch back, it pitches forward and pitch back. If board align is incorrect, then roll will be reversed. 
left roll in the real world will make the 3D model roll to the right. Or pitch and roll will be transposed if the board is 90 degrees off from what it really ought to be. So you'll pitch the copter forward and it'll roll to the right, something like that. Okay. If the accelerometer is disabled, and remember that Betaflight automatically disables your accelerometer when you set it to a faster loop time. Uh, so you may, your accelerometer may be disabled by, by, because you've changed your loop time, and your 3D model won't move because the 3D model is based on the accelerometer. If that's happening, then you can go to the CLI and type set ACC hardware equals auto to turn it back on. Or if you're in Betaflight 290 or higher, you can just use the Betaflight GUI. When you're done, use set ACC hardware equals none to disable the accelerometer again and go back the way it was. If your board alignment is not correct, then you can configure board align as you see here in the configuration tab, the number of roll, pitch, and yaw degrees. So the most common thing will be that the board will be yawed perhaps 90 degrees or 180 degrees. It's very uncommon to find boards flipped upside down or anything like that, but hey, anything's possible. Finally, if you have been playing around with a custom motor mix, for example, you've needed to reorder your motor outputs because they're wired up wrong, then you're gonna need to check that. Now, if all you've done is reorder your motors, then you've just swapped one of these lines for one of these other lines. You've just switched the places. And in that case, your life is pretty easy. Copy down the mixer that you've got, copy it into a, a text file, and then type mmix load quad x like you see here on the slide and that'll load the standard quad x mix and you can just check that each of the lines matches what you've got so you should have these exact same four lines they should just be in a different order and you just need to make sure that you swap them correctly okay uh, if you've got some kind of a custom mix where you've done something more exotic you're just going to need to hand check it if you're screwing around with exotic mixes then you just need to know the syntax and know the right way to do this the most important thing is that the sign of all the coefficients is correct for the direction of thrust that the motor will create if any sign is if that's positive or negative if any sign is incorrect then insta flip will occur because the motor will be doing the opposite of what the copter expects it to do so check all your coefficients and make sure that the motor is marked as positive roll or producing positive roll negative roll is negative roll and so forth there must always be two positive and two negative coefficients on each axis, assuming a quadcopter, because on a quadcopter, two of the motors always make the copter go one way, and two of the motors always make the copter go the other way. So if you look at your mix and you have three negative signs on the roll column, that's where your problem is. And that's it. That's how you troubleshoot this. So now, that's the end of the video, but if you care to stick around for a few more minutes, we can actually go through the troubleshooting of my copter. That was a real, I didn't make that example up. That happened to me. Let's go and walk through the troubleshooting if you want to come along and see what was wrong with my copter. And if you're going to come along, I'll put a link to that video. It's going to pop up on a card in the upper right. There it is. And if you're not going to come along, thanks for watching and happy flying.